my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will be discussing Enzo Maresca's 4-3-3 formation at Leicester City. Of course, I need to say that a 3-2-4-1, because that's more or less the shape that we will be getting with this formation going forward. But we will be discussing the Leicester City tactics, of course. They've had a great start to the season. I think it's, what, four wins from four. Really, really good against the likes of... Um, who was it on the weekend? Cardiff City, of course. They did. They scored some some really good goals. Of course, Aaron Ramsey banged one in from distance. Fantastic. So we are going to go over the team. We are going to go over the tactics and the instructions for the players and the individual instructions to try and replicate and recreate more or less that three at the back, four in the midfield, and then, of course, your three attackers up front. Now, just going through the team, of course, we've got Ian Nacho. I've gone with the team that starts against the, the likes of Cardiff City. So it might not always be this team, but... I've gone with that team going forward. But we've got Ian Notch up front. We've got Mavidi up, up well, on the left-hand side. We've got Marcel uh, on the right-hand side, who actually scored a really, really good goal, by the way. We've got Ndidi in his new midfield role. I have changed him to a, a central midfielder, which is why he's rated so terribly. Um, it just goes to show, like, you know, FIFA isn't, you know, that realistic. Anyway, but he is playing as a central midfielder now. Of course, we've got Harry Winks playing as the DM. We've got Dewsbury Hall as the other midfielder. And then we've got Callum Doyle on the... The left hand side now i have gone ahead and created the likes of callum doyle because i didn't really like his face in the the, the game of course so i've gone ahead and recreated him, him and cassidy from chelsea on loan at leicester so if you would like i'll link that at the end of this video you can go have a look at it we've also got Vestergaard, we've got Vout phase and of course we've got captain pereira and then we have a new signing in hermanson who i thought he did a very very good job on the weekend and then of course we've got jamie vardy cassidy like i mentioned um all brighton thomas ward uh, Castagna, and then of course we've got Harry Sutar, and then in the reserves we've got Connor Cody, Prates, Justin Samare, um, Everson, we've got Chowdhury, we've got Christensen, we've got Patson Dacker, Smithies, and then a few others I, I don't care to talk about. Um, so yes, it is going to be, as you can see here, it is going to be a, a standard 4-3-3 holding. I haven't really changed much. Maybe what you can do is you can try and, you know, just drift the, the two central midfields out a little bit. Um, give them a bit more space in the midfield, but it is a basic, you know, one goalkeeper, two centre backs, two full backs, one DM, two central midfielders, one strike, and of course two wingers, four through three holding. So of course Enzo Maresca is a former assistant coach to the likes of Manchester City's Pep Guardiola. So a lot of what Man City are doing, you will see Leicester City more or less try and copy and re replicate and recreate in their team and their tactics going forward. So a lot of it will be similar to the Pep system. But basically, it is a press off loss position. They press high, they press very fast and effectively. I mean, off, the, off of kickoff immediately, like they were pressing, they won the ball back, and it's just one, two passes, you're in on goal, potentially shoot and score. Um, and they did create a lot of opportunities like that. So you will look to try and press the, the opposition um, immediately after you've lost the ball. Of course, with this team, you will be looking to try and maintain the ball as much as possible. I think against Cardiff, they had around 65% possession. As time goes on, and I'm pretty sure it will, uh, the, the, the likes of Leicester will be a lot higher in terms of the possession stats. Um, so they will look to try and maintain that ball a lot more and it'll be a bit more effective with it going forward. But as for the width, it's set to 40, which is a nice, you know, happy medium as per always, creating a little 1v1 matchups, also creating a nice narrow tight formation for the defense to try and, you know, break down. Um, as for the depth, it's a very nice high line. So when you are more or less looking to compact and compress the opposition in their own half, looking to get those position stats up a bit more. Um, the the centre-backs or the back three system that we will be playing with this, um, they do tend to push up quite nice and high and more or less suffocate the opposition in their own half. In an Enzo Maresca type system, of course, you will be looking to emulate and replicate what Manchester City do. Of course, he was an assistant coach um, last season with Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. So you will look to try and press after the loss of possession, but more importantly, you will look to try and maintain the ball as much as possible. So you don't need to exert too much stamina and, and all that uh, on the opposition when you don't have the ball but they will look to be very aggressive with their press high up the field of course you can use that with the d-pad and team press goalkeeper restarts even just slightly higher up the field in their own half they will look to try and press them as high as possible as for the width it's set to 40 so it's a nice compact structure going forward making it very hard for the opposition to break them down either it will have to be a really good cross into the box with a very big strong forward that can header it in or a long range goal which we did see on the weekend aaron ramsey was an absolute bullet and a half um, I don't even know. I don't even understand how players come across that. Like, they're like, okay, let me just pop one from distance, and if it goes in, cool. Like, 
the 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 sheer balls that that man has to like take those ro long range rockets is insane. But anyway, it is set to forty, a nice compact structure in the middle of the park. As for the depth, it's set to eighty. Now this also helps you with position, maintaining position. Of course, your three center backs slash your back four they all look to try and press very high up the field. And when the opposition is under pressure, they'll look to try and clear it either by giving it back to the goalkeeper and him hoofing it up the field or either center backs hoofing it up the field and that's when your back three slash back four comes into play winning the aerial duels of course you've got some big very strong center backs um in the the Leicester city team of course and they can win those aerial duels circulates back into possession of course and possession is the key to having a Leicester city successful team um and then obviously working it back into the box of course and speaking of possession and offensive play the offensive play the build up of course is set to slow build up and of course possession now you are going to try and replicate what city do and city are very calm on the ball they m make sure that a lot of the team get their touches in and around the box of course open up those little tight half spaces for either the midfield to function or your wingers to come and drop inside of course um, into those little channels and work their magic of course but you will be looking to try and maintain the ball as much as possible so i urge you to be very calm and composed when you do have the ball don't freak out don't take a shot from distance if the team if the offensive the opposition of course if they are being a bit you know low block grinding it out trying to you know get, get a point or whatever just maintain the ball pass it around and you will see spaces and gaps will be opened up because of the instructions that the certain players will do and will implements to try and you know pull that um, defense apart creating little spaces in between the lines of course so as for the width it is set to 50 you want to try and create a, a very compact midfield the likes of ricardo Pereira, he will slot in there and join up with the midfield from time to time slotting in, alongside the likes of um, harry winks whereas callum doyle will look to try and slot inside with the likes of your center backs of course and basically you want to try and keep it very narrow very compact almost challenge channeling the ball down the middle and of course having the the likes of your wingers creating the width in the team so basically you want to have very fast interchanging passes fluidity in the midfield going forward and then of course getting the ball into the box finally and speaking of getting the ball into the box you want players in the box and that is set to six seven sorry i can't count but if that is set to seven you want at least one midfielder hanging just on the edge of the box and more times than not that will be the likes of indeedy on the the right hand side or if it is fired in on the left hand side it will be the likes of Dewsbury Hall, but you do want them in and around that area, of course, going forward. But more importantly, you want the likes of um, Kalichi and Nacho to be on the ball and have a bit more space in the box. And then finally, corners and free kicks, they are set to four each. I don't know why I've set them to three, but they are set to four each, as per always. As for the goalkeeper, he is set to come for crosses and be a sweeper keeper. Now, obviously, in a pip system, you need a sweeper keeper. You need him to be very active with his feet, his passing, his distribution. And more or less, that's what you're going to try and recreate in this system going forward. Um, as for your center backs, well, the one anyway, he is set to his base set of instructions, Vestergaard. But Valt Faze, he is set to a slightly differing role. He's going to join the attack. So more times than not, he will look to try and advance the ball forward. And that is to do with the likes of Pereira slotting into the midfield. But we'll get there soon enough. As for um, Callum Doyle, he is set to stay back while attacking an invert. So he's going to more or less create that that third center back on the left hand side he'll look to uh, just tuck inside a bit more whereas ricardo Pereira, he will look to more or less invert and have a bit of a balanced attack so he will look to get forward get into that midfield a bit more create a nice platform to build up off of the, the of course the offense and of course he's here to step up and that just helps him get forward a bit more um as for harry winks if it allows me to get there he's here to cut passing and have a balanced attack normal interceptions will be set to be on cover the center and of course be the deep line playmaker so the reason i haven't set him to stay back while attacking is because the likes of Pereira does take up that role and it allows wins a bit more freedom to get forward have another body um being thrown forward as well creating you know a few little overloads creating little pockets of space to open up for the likes of Dewsbury hall and ndd um to function in so it's very nice but of course his main job of as, as for always as a dm is to try and protect the back line which is why i've set him to cut passing lanes and more times than not with most of my my cdms i do set them to have the, the cut passing lanes on and not really the man marking or the tight marking system because it, it doesn't work of course it doesn't work so taking a look at Jewsbury hall's set of instructions he is set to get forward stay on the edge of the box aggressive interceptions um stick to position and of course cover the wing now him and indeed have the same set of instructions and what you are trying to really replicate is a front five system you want either or running past the striker at times um trying to plug the the passing lanes for the back line so you will be pressing that back that opposition back line very very high very very aggressively forcing them into mistakes potentially or potentially forcing them to hoof the ball up wide or high um, and that's when your center backs or your back three system will come into 
play and they will try and win that ball back as quick as possible. Um, but you also want them to have a very aggressive interception, so they'll have a very aggressive approach when pressing that back line. Um, and more times than not, we did see the likes of Jewsbury Hall and indeed he surprisingly get into the box and just be a bit more of a, an a offensive attacking body in that area, creating space for the likes of uh, Marcel, Kelechi and Nacho, and of course Nvidi. Um, and then talking of Marcel, he is said to come back on defense, stay wide, balance support, and of course get into the box. So he will look to more or less hug that touchline, create the width on that right-hand side. So like I say, Pereira, he's not going to do that. Of course, in the past, we have seen him do that. But his new role is more or less going to be the, the John Stones role in the, the PEP system of the 3-2-4-1 the system. So he will look to try and, you know, inverse a bit more. Whereas Marcel, he's going to look to try and hold that width on that right-hand side, fire crosses into the box, supply um, dangerous balls for the likes of Kelechi and Nacho and Mavidi. Um... And speaking of which, Mavidi, he is set to stay forward, so he's going to be your out there ball going forward. He was very, very dangerous. It's surprising that he didn't get a goal um, against uh, Cardiff, but he was very, very attacking, very aggressive. Um, so he is set to stay forward, have a balance with getting behind. So he's always going to look to try and stretch that back line and, of course, get into the box. Now, the reason I've gone with him to not cut inside or stay wide is because we saw more times than not that either the likes of um, Jewsbury Hall or potentially Harry Winks, they would go into that wider area and allow him to cut inside a bit more, almost creating a, an inside forward approach. And that's what you will be trying to do with Mavidi going forward. And then finally, we have got Kelechi Iannaccio, who is set to drift wide, plays a false nine. Normal inceptions will be on him, of course, come back on defense. I did mention earlier, he will look to try and drop into that midfield link up, play with the likes of your central midfielders. But more importantly, he's going to try and draw the back line slightly forward, creating space in behind for your wingers to operate in, or potentially your on-running um, central midfielders to operate in that space. And it, it works out very, very well. I, I love the idea of having centre-backs being drawn out and creating little pockets of space um, for your midfield to operate in, or your wingers, of course. And then he is set to drift wide, so he's not going to be the focal point in the box all the time. He will look to hang in and around that area, slightly drifting left or right from time to time, and like I say, creating space for others. And that's a really underrated like ability that Kelechi Iannaccio does have. I mean, he did pop off a few shots from outside the box, if I remember correctly. Um, none of them went in, of course. But he was very effective with his ability to draw the opposition centre-backs out of, out of place. And we'll end it off right there. My 4-3-3 Enzo Maresca set of tactics at Leicester City. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button down below. Maybe hit one or two of those videos. That would be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe if you are new, please. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And I'm really, really enjoying this journey so far. So thank you guys.